everybody it is day 61 and today we start the descent it's gonna be a short day 19 kilometer day that is why I woke up at 7 30 just had breakfast bread with a uh, Nutella and cafe con leche and uh, right now we're gonna start heading down it is Sunday so we called ahead to book a place who is part of the team today Today is going to be Dirk, Elena, and I. Let's get this started. Second summit of the trip. First one was uh, San Bernard's uh, Pass some 20 days ago. I am now officially in Tuscany. Not the Tuscany that you're familiar with. That will come in about a couple, week or so, maybe a couple of weeks, I don't know. Right now I'm descending. And uh, all is good, man. Weather is nice. Sun is starting to come out and we're on the road. We didn't take uh, the Via Francigena path. It will be taking me somewhere up there because it has been raining for the last couple of days and we were told that the ground was gonna be muddy and slippery. And uh, no. <laughs> so now it's all downhill. Check out what I found. It's from a porcupine that I think got run over or hit on the road. And it looks like uh, he exploded. And I'm taking one of these as a souvenir. You think I can check this on a flight? Is it a weapon? I find myself walking between <laughs> motorcycles uh, zooming by and stinging nettle on the curve and I have to navigate that precisely It all tastes like chicken. And so we made it to town, it was at 2 p.m., 2.30. We sat down at a cafe in the town square. We did well. And had uh, some beer. We had some uh, ham and cheese sandwiches and I uh, had gelato. Very nice. And then we came over to the, to the albergue, 
settled in, took a shower, washed my clothes, uh, they're drying right now, and uh, we went to Mass. First time here in Italy. It is now 6 o'clock, and uh, at 7.30 we're gonna go head out and have something to eat. There's a restaurant nearby, they have a pilgrim's uh, menu, and uh, we're heading over there. We're right across from uh, the railroad. Check it out. Train leaving. Hopefully it won't be too noisy tonight. I can see the priest uh, feeding the goat from here. Very nice. So that's where we stand today. Tomorrow, really don't know if the group is gonna stay together. Some of them may go a little further than others. Uh, to be honest with you, for the first time in the entire trip, I do not have the next couple of days planned out. I mean, I do have a, a guy that I'm following. I have my own PDF that I created with all the separate uh, stages, and I'm supposed to walk 34 kilometers tomorrow through that kind of uh, terrain going up and down. 34 might be a little bit too much. Not sure yet, since I haven't had a good Wi-Fi signal in the last couple of days, I haven't been able to actually sit down and look at it and plan. Today, I do have some, so I may just uh, stay here for a little bit, really, really plan what, what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow and the day after, and uh, you know, finally reaching the Mediterranean. I may, I may wanna take a day off there just to rest take a good swim, and then move on to the last leg of the trip, Tuscany, which is gonna be beautiful, amazing, and uh, yeah, looking forward to that. it is the end of another day it is actually midnight that's why I'm talking slowly quietly uh, I just got back from having dinner with the guys we went to this place where we had an amazing pilgrims uh, meal for 11 euros three course meal with uh, a liter of wine in between the three of us after that we went to the center square and we had Lemoncello. What happened after that? I really don't remember. <laughs> Just kidding. That's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Oh,